country maintenance got a AC not cooling. Feels like the line is really cold and the other line's pretty hot. Let's take a look here. Sounds like the compressor is definitely not running. Go ahead and discharge the capacitor. The capacitor holds the charge in it after the power is disconnected. That's really tight there too. Everything's on there. Let me go ahead and check that. Check the uh, compressor. It's cold. I mean, really cold. It's frozen. It feels like ice. Very strange. Do just a disconnect the just the start side take a reading with the common connector. Microfarad reading here. Thirty-three point four. Looks good. Wonder if the coil's frozen inside. Need to go check that. Let me connect my start wire. Good. Check this fan as well. So we discharged our capacitor and our fan cap. And let's take a reading on the four point nine seven. That's good. Yeah, 
strange. Like a new compressor. Froze all the way back. It's possible. It started right up. I'm going to go check the indoor coil. Maybe it's frozen inside. Go from there. It's all working good. All right. Yeah, definitely ice on the coil. It's frozen. Yeah. Okay. So we'll just turn this to off. And we'll turn the fan on on. Cool that puppy down. That'll do it. Sometimes if the charge is undercharged, that can do it too. But I believe this one is just a dirty or something. in the mix. There are definitely other scenarios that can cause this so I hope to go into those more in the future. Uh, one is low refrigerant charge. Uh, what can happen there is your ideal evaporator temperature is 40 degrees and uh, if there's not enough freon it can actually be uh, colder than you want at the evaporator coil and that can cause the coil to freeze up and it can even freeze up all the way back to the compressor. So that's something to be aware of. Uh, this one seemed pretty obvious that the coil was really dirty. You know, it's possible there was more to the scenario and I can go back and check on this one more in the future. Um, but I'm pretty sure that this one was just r really dirty air filter. The other thing is the coil itself, it, it may need cleaning as well. So that's, uh, again, something more to follow up. And, uh, you know, but if you have restricted airflow from a dirty air filter and or dirty coil, that can cause the uh, deal to freeze up. This one seemed obvious the air filter was really clogged and uh, that was the quick fix and I'll have to follow it up and you know make sure uh, more in the future that everything's good but I'm pretty sure that that's the simple fix on this one changing the dirty air filter. And turning the fan on on will melt the ice really fast and also help it to hug. This was a slant coil so it'll help the moisture to to uh, kind of run down the slant coil and into the pan so that it drains. Sometimes uh, you may want to put a towel in the way if there's a lot of ice um, or um, you know vacuum out the condensate pan uh, if it's putting out a lot of water. Um, you might come back in five minutes, vacuum it out, and then let it run for another five minutes and then vacuum out again in five minutes you know, and or put towels down to make sure it doesn't get to carpet or drywall or anything like that. But, uh, yep, just thought those things bear mentioning. Thanks for watching. One further item on this one is I looked up the model number on the compressor here. Wow, and it's supposed to actually video. be a 45 microfarad capacitor. This one only had a 35 microfarad capacitor, so looks like I'll be jumping up on that roof tomorrow and changing out that capacitor. But it kind of pays to research the model number on your compressor if it's been changed out. This one was obvious that it was changed out and happened to notice it uh, more in the video. Figured I better research that, so I did. And uh, so I got my, my small job for me cut out tomorrow to uh, change out that capacitor to a 45 microfarad instead. 
at least it's going good for now, but uh, we'll make it even better, make it survive and go the distance, last through the summer and far beyond.